What about a reactor breach? We're gonna save. I might have done something bad. Okay, nothing happened. I got really worried. I mean, when alarms and shit start going off, I just start imagining the place is gonna get ambushed by like fucking 50 dudes. I'm trying to find where this message is coming from. Here? Meltdown. Yeah, it is. It's still reporting a meltdown from almost 200 years ago. Well, the automated services are definitely doing their job. Anyone who comes by here is definitely getting warned. Or something. Yeah, I'm building a collection to actually be able to build things, buddy. Hey, Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. <laughs> so it's broken. Nice to have someone watching my back. Well, you know what? We just got a confirmation. If your helmet is is off or broken while you're in power armor, you don't have the voice modulation thing anymore. I mean, I figured that was uh probably going to be the case, but I was always too lazy to chest out for myself. Man, you know, it's hard to see here in the daytime than it is at nighttime. The sun just kind of sheening off of the fog. This is why you don't turn on your, uh, your bright lights while you're driving in a fog. Because that happens. You can't shoot, you suck at aiming. Eh. How far did this guy go into this place? Oh, <laughs> I actually went beyond the borders. Yeah, there you go. Whoops, we went further than he did. But there you go, there's a confirmation. You can, in fact, go on the outskirts of the borders and find more stuff. So I guess the actual borders of the map are like. Probably around here, or all the way down here. Very interesting. Ooh. Hello. We're supposed to go that way, but look at this structure. Very brightly painted, and it gathers my attention. Decrepit factory. Well, you're saying not all the other factories we've encountered have been decrepit? Oh. Yeah, dude, I don't think you had enough time to die holding out your hand like that. You were at the- you were at Site Zero. This is where the bomb hit. You were incinerated. Although maybe the alarms started going up, but yeah, the alarms did start going up before things happened. So maybe he was reaching his hand up for his friend, because he fell down, and then boom, explosion. Oh boy, is this it? Or is this it, over here? It's hard to find out. It's just open, irradiated land. Is there anything actually in this decrepit factory? Got a couple things here. Yeah, alright. Sensor modules. Those will be important to upgrading future anythings. So I think when you lose your fusion core, it might just get removed completely. You might not get like a spent fusion core. It would be cool if you could though. Oh, would you look at that! There is a structure in the legitimate middle of this crater. This guy's gonna be like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. Someone came all this way out here for me. I am dead. This is a cute little shack in the middle of nowhere. Uh-oh. Sister Verena. Brother Ogden? Oh, great. Ah, we got the childhood of Adam, dudes. Or the child- children of Adam. Crater of Atom! Hello, everybody! May the glow of Adam guide your path. Yeah, may the glow of Adam guide my path, I guess. So let me guess. Right there, stranger. Virgil's not here? Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Adam? What's going on?
down here? Atom reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. What is this place? This is where we commune with Adam himself. I am surprised you have survived long enough to reach it. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? Um, I need information. I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Oh, well, that was easy. Thanks for the information. So we're going all the way down here. Oh boy. In the do you end, have a moment? What Adam's do you need children? of me, child? How have you survived in all this radiation? That is Adam's unique gift to us, the true believers. He has brought us here to this place, a place that cannot harm us, so that we may worship him, so that we may spread his word to others. That is our calling, to deliver Adam's message to a world that does not wish to hear it, to show Adam's power to all. In the end, we are all Adam's children. You are all fucking insane. I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? I need more information about things. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. You are kind to offer, but Atom has provided us with all that we need. Yeah. May the bring you peace. Well, while you guys are all sitting here staring at that, I'm gonna go the loot it. Comes. Not your other shit, just whatever might be inside of here in this middle area. I hope they don't treat it like a holy temple. Alright, what do we got in here? Probably just random loot. It's probably gonna be considered stealing. Yeah, it's considered stealing. Damn it! I can't steal with Nick on my side. Oh. Put that back where it belongs, kid! Alright, we're gonna go try and find... Virgil. I got distracted by... What looks like a gas leak. You know, this place is doing surprisingly okay for what seems like where the bomb hit. I mean, people can survive in it. Very dumb people, but they're alive. I don't know if they have, like, radiation protection or what. Their, their clothes actually have a little bit of radiation resistance, which is interesting. So maybe because their clothes have radiation resistance, they think that they're blessed by Adam. Hold up, what's going on here? I feel like there's more to the horizon that I can even see, or it could just be nothing. You see that over there? That looks like maybe a plane crashed here. So I'm trying to find out what kind of things were here before. A lot of people out here could use a hand. What's that? Yes, we're not alone. Oh, Jesus. It is so shenanigans, these kings can literally instantly teleport to you. Not that it's an option. <laughs> it kind of fucks over anyone who's legitimately building towards a sniper only build. Okay, so yeah, definitely a plane crashed here. Boy doesn't sound pleased. Let's say we get out of here. Hey, you know, you kind of dedicated yourself to this, this little adventure right into the middle of the wasteland. Or I guess not really the middle. Is this the plane that dropped the bomb on us? I don't know. I don't know what the missiles were like. Oh great, another death claw. I can handle a death claw. It's not even like a legendary or something. Holy shit! I am fucking this thing up. Oh, I'm a death claw. I'm freaking scared. Blow! Oh god, half my health is gone. I might as well wave my hand and throw up some dust. 
You know, one of these days we're gonna run into like three death claws at a time or some shit. And I'm gonna be a really, really sad camper. I remember the death claw. Uh, Cory in Vegas, or Vegas. Oh my god. It actually wasn't that bad, because by the time I actually went there, I think I was pretty decked out. Like, punch death claws to death, kinda decked out. Oh well. Alright, where are we going? We are heading... Actually, in the right direction somewhat. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going completely the wrong way. Although, out here, things get a little bit odd. I'm trying to find a cave, but will it be a super noticeable cave? It probably shouldn't be. That'd just be stupid. And this guy's a scientist! Scientists are the opposite of stupid! Well, depending on what you're looking for. Alright, I'm just making sure there isn't anything like... ...to miss. Like, one big building along the way to the cave that I just haven't found. I'm so tired of taking Radax. It's a good thing I don't need it normally. <laughs> but I have no doubt we're probably gonna have to go into the glowing sea a little bit more. If not, just to go to other super radiated areas. Although it looks like most of the radiation, the glowing sea is legitimately just kinda like one corner of the map. Just like this big fucking place. Where is this cave, friend? It's behind us, to the right. You cannot go that way. Okay, well, we found the border of the map. We cannot go that way. You know, this is a nice way to introduce people to the concept that the edge of the map isn't the edge of the map until you've reached the edge of the map. And by that, I just mean this fucking line here. Usually that actually has said where you can and can't go. I cannot go that way. Shut up, I can go where I want. Never mind, there's an invisible barrier. Shut up, I'll go around to the place I need to go to where I want. Where in the hell is this damn cave? Here ish? Oh. <laughs> he made me worried. I was like, oh fuck, something's popping up to kill me. Whoa. Dude, this is like the most- OH SHIT! I was just- I was distracted by Virgil's sweet ride! Yeah, you know what, shotgun friend. I might actually have to raise the difficulty now that I'm a little bit higher level. It'll give me a higher chance to get legendary gear. I'm surprised that wasn't like a super ultra death claw, like modified by science. Nope, just normal one. Rocky cave. Aren't all caves rocky? Most of them. Yeah, this is gonna go in like probably five different ways. Hello! I am not here to do anything but be your friend! Hey. There's something you need? Yes. I need you to take some items off of me. Whatever you need. I have hit the carry limit. <gasps> oh, no! Well, we've just learned something valuable. So, even though I'm wearing all my important gear underneath this, the stat increases don't actually affect above my armor. And so what that means is that if I did have the radiation suit, it would probably not have actually helped me that much. Although that would be- that it's an actual like under armor outfit thing? I don't know. That makes me sad. I was hoping to have like 400 carry weight. Whoa! He's a super mutant?! What?! Protect and serve. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Uh... 
I'm just here to talk. I'm just here to talk. That's so. Then talk. Fast. Well, I'm gonna inquire about you being a super mutant. You're a super mutant? Yes. Clearly you have functioning eyes. Congratulations. I'm hoping you didn't come here just to point that out. Now what do you want? Uh, don't change subject, institute- oh, I'm gonna don't change subject. Don't change the subject. I'm the one asking questions here. I want to know about the Institute. And I want to know now. The Institute? So... They did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. <laughs> Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's... Dead. Don't you lie to me! He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Um, I want everything. Not an idiot. I'm patient. You escaped. That's probably good, but charisma check. Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape, but how? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? My kid? It doesn't matter. No, my son. I'm gonna be honest with them. I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no, I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my... condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and... Well... Look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? Sure, <laughs> why not? You help me and I'll help you. Alright. Alright. Let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute, remember? They're your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. 
You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Yeah, alright, that's easy. What do I need to do? Listen up. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. And I hope he isn't opposed to coming with me. I mean, if he thinks that somebody else is his father, this could go all kinds of bad. Oh, boy. Protect and serve. Hunter slash hunted. Travel to the CIT. So where is that? The CIT is... Not being shown just yet. All right. <laughs> the CIT is here? Wow. I've been here. I've passed over it. It's plopped in the middle of Commonwealth. Holy shit. Alright, well, we can just kind of fast travel to there and Good immediately get to work. Of course, a chip. You're gonna need it. Perfect. Energy weapons permanently in thick. 5% critical damage. Neat. Battles are won with fists, wars with wits. Before I go anywhere, though, or before I go all the way to that location, I'm gonna have to repair all the shit that I have on me. I mean, look at my power armor. Oh, boy. Protect and serve. I was not expecting Virgil to be a super mutant. But, you know what? That makes sense. He doesn't have to worry about the radiation as a super mutant, so of course he can just come all the way out here and be like, all right, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast travel out of here. I don't wanna walk across the lands here. We'll come back and probably see what happens. But for now, Sanctuary Hill. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? I think I could suffer through it. Sure, let's go. Will do. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. I'd know. Nick, you always know just what to say. <laughs> uh, we'll let Nick stay here. Going to the Valentine Detective Agency. I like sending them back to the original places most of the time. That means not so much with, like, Curie, because Curie doesn't want to be a Vault 81. Speaking of Curie, we gotta help her out. But with everybody else, it's kinda like, yeah, go back to your home. Chill out with your family or something. Chill out with your girlfriend, whatnot. You know, that does raise questions. Nick, do you have all the working bits of a human as a synth? We don't know. Oh boy. Alright. I don't know if I want to fast travel directly onto this area. We never actually completely cleared this side out. We just kinda traveled through here. And then walked on while we were trying to find, uh, the crashed alien ship. <laughs> I legitimately, I just walked through here and then I was like, eh, oh, YouTube can tell me. With the fortune finder perk, you'll find more and more caps and containers. I like how I still, I put two points in it. It's the most inefficient thing I've done so far. I could put those two points into anything else, like scrapper. All right. You know, I guess to be fair, we never really did check this building out. So this makes sense. Alright. We need to find the coarser signal. This thing's gonna be like super damn close. You wanna get out of here? I don't 
still think we'd make pretty ghouls. I'll be fine! I just need to find this thing. Jesus. Our radiation went down or went up so much already. We're just gonna take this. If we're gonna be wandering around these ruins, we might as well. He's getting close. Ugh, raiders still. I'm not here for you guys! I am here for something completely different. I like how we took Rad X, and now we're probably not gonna run into any more radiation. Okay, so he's definitely this way. No, he's not. What? He's towards the raiders? Uh oh. Well, looks like I'm gonna be fighting my way around here. Hey, why not, right? It's XP. I just don't want to have my presence, like, announced. Someone's shooting at me. Hello. Nothing there now. <laughs> he forgot about me. <laughs> That's how you get so screwed over, buddy. Girl, you picked the wrong fight. Was that Piper or the Raider? <laughs> Girl, you picked the no, wrong fight. Here. Okay, that's a ripoff. It's just fucking. You saw me aim at the head right there. You're not getting hit. That's not my fault. Come on. Oh shit, that's an enemy. Hello. Yep, have your head blown off. Ah, that worked! <laughs> you are in the most advantageous spot I've ever seen a person ever be put in. Loot on you better be one thing. There. Oh my god, how many people are here? Yeah, right. I don't trust a 50% chance with the bats. Ah! Although I do accept a 78 chance. It's still fucking missed. That guy was scary. Oh shit! Get out of the way, Piper! Yeah, that's why. I didn't want to fight you guys! You could have lived! This is your own fault! I'm just trying to find a goddamn robot. They're still trying to burn me! I'm getting this... This raider. <coughs> Ow. Oh, hi there! Great, now you broke one of my limbs. I don't even ever want to go through the effort of, like, looting everybody's bodies. If they're close by, I might as well. But otherwise, all the ones that are, like, on top of rooftops and shit? Nah, I'm good. Let's see. That's a nice sniper rifle. Sells for 193. I'll take it, just because it sells for a lot. Ooh. That actually looks kind of cool. I would not wear it, because you know what the helmets are going to do to our lovely sunglasses and everything else. Also, our hair. If it wasn't for the fact that it got rid of our facial hair, I probably would wear those things a little bit more. Oh, mother... <laughs> Fuck! I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. But when I'm not expecting mines, man, I'm just like... <laughs> Ooh, boy. It's alright. I'm on edge now. I'm alert. If something's trying to blow me up, I got it covered. 
Alright. So it's definitely this way, and it's that. It's further into the city. The Greenwich building? When I say Greenwich building, this thing? Oh, green tech. Green tech genetics. What's gonna be in there? Oh boy. 